previously on Sailing Cuba, we arrived in Marina di Rotondo for our final preparation before crossing from Sardinia to mainland Spain on our way to the Cape Verde Island. Marina let us in after hours because we called them and we said we have to make it to, to Gibraltar and this is the last stop for us to get water. We've been without water for like a couple of days now and now they're giving us free water. Now that we arrived everything seems to be moving in real time again. Before it was just like speed up. <laughs> I always get so nervous when we're docking. Oh yeah, oof. So we're now at Puerto Rotonda Thank you so much guys for extending your opening hours for water. We know that it's super super busy actually. Behind me there's one boat after the other coming in. This is like the busiest marina ever man. But free water. Eh? <laughs> and it's such a tight squeeze to come around the corner. All of the motorboat people were like looking at us. Why are you taking up so much space? Like we're a sailboat. We don't have bow thrusters. <laughs> but yeah. It's all good. But this marina was very kind, so they let us come here and just put water and everything. They're really nice people. So we actually spent way more time than we wanted to spend in Sardinia. But with the thunderstorms and the water sprouts and the bad weather, it was all messed. So and it's sad there. <laughs> I never take water for granted again coming out of our taps because we spent three days just looking for it here. It, there's so many boats but they can only give you 200 liters at a time maximum or you have to put fuel and then they give you also water but never more than 200 liters and we need a lot, at least uh, 900 because now we're so delayed we probably have to dash non-stop all the way to Gibraltar which is if we're lucky and we find a downwind sail window it's still gonna be eight days minimum. Yeah, we're going to finish, uh, once we finish putting water here, we're just gonna anchor nearby. And then tomorrow we're gonna press on to the Balearic Islands. There is actually no wind now, so there's no point for us to literally try to just try to motor or anything, because we also low on fuel, and we try to put fuel here, but it's close. <laughs> I'm slipping away, so don't let me go now. Things are as they should be this morning on SV Cuba with the man doing the dishes. It's my time to do the dishes. I actually haven't done the dishes for like probably four or five weeks. But I don't know the thing, so. Four or five weeks? Maybe. <laughs> Same. Actually, three, three months? Maybe. Actually, it's Sarah's time to do the fuel now because I'm normally the one blowing into that can and spend, spend the whole day with fuel mouth. And normally she calls me fuel mouth man. I don't, okay. I don't call him fuel mouth man. Okay. But yeah, usually he gets the fuel because the fuel is freaking heavy <laughs> and we have to carry it at least 100 meters. But around here, the fuel is just by the water, so I can do that. In his defense, he did get the fuel and now he is doing the dishes. So the only thing that I have to do is actually get it into the boat. Oh.
Sardinia behind us now and we have another two days at the speed that we're going but so far the weather seems to be really really nice and stable there's actually hardly any waves wind was being predicted to be from stern and we're almost into the wind but at least we can sail you know which is pretty nice and the boat is not shuffling around like crazy which makes it really really comfortable as well we're now gonna make it directly to a place called Mahon in Menorca. It's very very protected. We're gonna check in there to Spain. For the next probably 10 to 15 days almost we're gonna be hitting land hardly like we're probably not really gonna go on land unless we need to get like vegetables or something like that. We still have a long way ahead of us and then that's just a halfway point because then the real sailing is gonna start for us going to the Canaries and then all the way down to Cape Verde which is almost the same distance as going to Gibraltar from Sardinia. It's gonna be fun <laughs> so this is gonna be a real sailing trip this is not gonna be just island hopping somewhere in Greece this is actually we are passing through half of the Med and then we're gonna do a substantial leg all the way down from Gibraltar to the Cape Verde but I can't wait actually because it is it is said to be the little Caribbean of Africa. The weather forecast was so off. We were expecting to have at least 15 to 20 knots, probably downwind or beam, broad reach, anything, anything. But now we have two knots. And we've been completely stopped basically from last night two o'clock in the morning we're not moving at least there's no waves and there's a lot to see because i've been trying to film some of the sea turtles that are passing by and the mai mai but they never seem to get close enough for me to film them today is day three if i look on the chart plotter at the speed that we're doing at the moment it will take us another week to get to the balearics yay <laughs> And yeah, nothing, nothing is moving. I can see there are fish feeding everywhere here. So I'm, I'm hoping that at least the current will bring us somewhere. And there may be weather coming up because the, the sky looks like there may be wind coming at one point. But at the, at the moment, like, there's nothing, nothing. She's following me everywhere. <laughs> beautiful sunset but we did lose a day unfortunately it's been a maximum of three knots which is just not enough wind to move the boat we need at least seven six seven knots to, to make progress unfortunately even though it looks stunning it doesn't really help us right now we do want to be in Gibraltar in eight days and if we make this much progress we're gonna be there in a month so also I'm getting a little bit nervous about a weather system that is coming a little bit closer from well, it's coming from north so I'm just hoping that it just brings wind and not anything crazy because yeah people do speak about the calm before the storm and let's just hope that this is not the case we looked on the on the weather before we left, there wasn't anything bad per se, but I don't know, things change. Mm. Yeah, it looks to me more like, like the other day, innit? That lightning thing. I hope you can hear me because the engine is on now. We've actually succumbed to motoring. 
unfortunately, outside now, but well, the sun has gone down, it's, it's pitch black outside, and it's, it's quite clear, and the water is like glass, I, I wish I could show you guys, it's just amazing, because you can see the Milky Way, and the reflection of all the stars in the water, there's no separation between the sky and the water, so it's like we're floating in stars. <laughs> it's surreal, it's so beautiful, but it's also a little bit scary because there's hardly anything you can see. It's like being in space. And Nick has fallen asleep in the cockpit now, and I can't film outside because you would only see a black screen basically. But yeah, I'm just gonna go back upstairs again because I am on watch and even though it's really difficult to see yeah somebody's got to be upstairs and figure out that we're not ramming into anything they say one of the worst enemies of a sailor is a schedule we had planned to make landfall in the Balearics but Mahon is not an easy anchorage to approach at night so instead we decided to continue towards mainland Spain. Oh man, I have a problem with the, the battery. The main battery doesn't, doesn't start the engine. And it just started when this when this uh, school started. And I asked her, do you have 10 minutes? And I said, I don't know. And thanks to this thing that we have here, this, uh, this battery pack, that actually saved our life, to be honest, so far. Oh man, this is stressful, man. I just want to get to you to be honest. Lightning everywhere. I could see the storm coming and we just couldn't turn the engine on. Just didn't want to turn on. We just made it here into the anchorage. It's a really big anchorage, but then we could see the lightning coming from afar and now it just it just hit. We were waiting for the battery to charge so we can try and turn the engine on. And now Oh god. It's like a light show out there. Don't better have to go out there. <laughs> but over the boat, it's just lightning, man. Right? It's raining like hell. Oh, lightning. It's raining so much, I can't even see the shoreline anymore. It's just a blanket of white, basically. And we're not anchored so far away. And I'm so glad we made it here. We could see it from far approaching, but we're hoping it would pass and it was coming closer and closer and it just, it just hit. I think I almost threw up. <laughs> 